Hello again. Hi there. Hi, Greek. Melbourne. Melbourne, yeah, yeah. I've been inspired by Monty Python, Sabbath, or Darling, a anonymous box. Yeah, especially with this picture, my first ever collage. That was done 16 years ago. Cool. That's and, uh, yeah, no, that's made of plaster. Yeah, no, 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 she's too open. But collage is my main thing. I, I was a chef for 20 years, and um, cooking broccoli is something I always used to do because it was one of the most healthiest vegetables you can eat. And also, it looks like a tree. At the moment, uh, my gallery is in Brick Lane. It's called Broccoli uh, Lane Gallery. And um, this series is called Embracing Imperfection. And um, basically that's all about um, how we all want things to be perfect and when they're not, we get upset that they're not. But when you embrace imperfection, then you give yourself like a little break from the normal sort of thing. And it's good to realize that there is no perfection around in the world. So you've got to strive to be uh, the best you can, but you'll never be perfect. Um, but there's well, I've been doing it for so long. Um, some of the things I find in magazines are rep replicated because um, they're really, they, you know, some of my work you see the same piece I've used several times. Um, but then when you mix them with other different pieces, then it becomes a totally different story, even though there's similar bits in it. But I, I rate some of mine from uh, oh, like a 1 to 10. And a 10 would be really special, and um, it would be a centerpiece in the picture. Yeah, so 10 seem to be uh, where it draws, draws people's eye into the picture. It's nice to sort of play with art from a child's point of view. And um, when I'm working on my work, I work on up to 20 pictures at the same time, which means I work totally in the subconscious mind, never in the conscious mind. And when you go into the subconscious mind and you stay there for hours and hours, then you create your best work ever because you're not connected to your conscious mind where you're sometimes you're doing the commissions for other people. So you, uh, when you create in the subconscious mind, you create for yourself first and others afterwards. And I find the energy creating for yourself first attracts more people to your art because there's a kind of honest energy, almost spiritual, because you're almost connecting with the universe and you're also in a deep trance of meditation. And uh, when you're in that state of meditation, anything can happen.